ahead and get this going. You can see all of our fallers right here. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so here we have our Ford 8.8 .8 inch rear end. So recently I had this rebuilt. I was going to do it myself. However, I just don't have the experience. I'm going to drive this across the country. I don't want to be doing it myself. I wanted to make sure it was done right on the first shot. I'm going to be doing the next rear end though, since I have all the tooling. These were 355 gears in here. However, I changed them over to 373. I know all you're going to say, this is stupid. Just swapping in the 373 gears. I like it just because I wanted a little bit better gas mileage. It might be a little bit better for me with the turbo. And I also just wanted it for the bigger tires. I know 355s are decent, but for the tires and towing another vehicle on it all the way out to Las Vegas, that's probably going to be better. Can you expect, can you expect any more from a guy that wears suspenders? <laughs> We're using Grow Automotive HET 1705 Wax and Grease Remover. Put it in this little spray bottle, you'll see why that comes in handy. You can just spray it on top of the axle into your rag and just wipe this down. I've already kind of started the process of doing that, but we'll go ahead and keep going with it. Well, I got the surface prepped. Hopefully all the oil is off of it. I'll probably hit it one more time tomorrow. And then what I'm gonna do is get it in etch primer and then I'm gonna paint the actual axle after the 2K epoxy. Once that's all done, I'm gonna use this PPG commercial paints. Mostly it's for industrial products, but we're gonna try it on this here and see what we get out of it. Hopefully everything works out good for us on that. So tomorrow I'll be at it with the paint. getting back from picking up the etch primer by Omni, it's not PPG grade. And then I'm gonna put in Transtar 2K epoxy over top of my etching primer. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on, put on that PPG paint that I bought there for hardware and industrial use on the rear axle. We're gonna see how this all plays out for us. Pretty good paint from what I understand, so we'll see what happens, should last. inside not get, all, not get all these bugs through it i have the wind knocked down the paper it's up in the air this will work out pretty good i think so we're just about ready to go ahead and finish cleaning this off and then we're going to go ahead and get ready to prep it with the uh, etch primer and then the 2k epoxy from transtar and then the ppg coatings black we'll use that the industrial paint on this <music>
So I just prepped the surface on this axle here with 1705 wax and grease remover by Grow Automotive. I used it on the red truck when I painted it and it seemed to turn out pretty good for that so it should work just fine for this. So now I'm going to get the gun all cleaned up, get it ready to go and then we're going to begin putting the etch primer on here very shortly. As you can see here, there's not really any oil on it. It's pretty clean now. I mean, you should have seen the axle before. I guess you guys did see it because we did do a video on this. But I mean, it's pretty good shape now to get prepped and primered and then finally painted. I think this is a good setup here. I think all the sandblasting paid off. It's Commercial Performance Coatings ALK 200. Seems like it's had, had some decent reviews. It seems to hold up pretty well. I'm going to use this instead of that Pour 15. I like just normal paint and... Hopefully it all works out good. I use this to paint the chassis on the Cadillac. I just realized I made a mistake. That's for epoxy primer. We're just going to go with it, and we are going to try it out. Should be all right. There's not much to lose. It's only an axle housing. If I have to go back and ever repaint it again, I will. Let's go ahead and mix it up. Pretty good. 
is really nice looking. I like the primer so far. I know I still messed up, but this thing's gonna be sweet. Look at that. You just cannot beat that finish. Though. I mean, it's like brand new. Look at that. Wow. This will turn to a matte finish here very shortly. It's not going to stay like this, and that's what we're going for is the matte finish. But it, all in all, it looks great. I'm excited to see the final touches done to this thing. It's going to be really nice. I'm about to bust out here from PPG. It is just a single stage already pre-mixed. There's no hardener that needs to be added. It can just be shot straight on and it'll cure on its own. Pretty sweet process if you ask me because there's no hardener. I'm covered in overspray, but take a look at the axle. That thing looks really cool. We're gonna let this go and sit here for the rest of the day. I'll come back at it tomorrow maybe, but really next thing is to get this out of here and probably back into the vehicle and we'll start reassembly as soon as I get the parts here. Look at that paint though. It looks really nice. All of it looks really good. We only had actually one run here, and that was right here. 
But other than that, this thing looks pretty slick. This thing has been drying all day. I didn't want it to be a glossy black. I put too many coats on, and the more coats you put on this stuff, it makes it shinier. I don't really care. It's going to change color over time, but man, does that look nice. The only reason why I didn't want the glossy black is because the rest of my truck is not glossy underneath. But, oh well. Okay, we are back today. We're going to paint all the subframe components. We're going to do the rear sway bar, all the hardware for the rear differential, and we're going to do a couple of the brake parts for the little wheel cylinders. And we'll be good to go, so let's go ahead and get jumping into that right now. So I got everything sitting right here. All the hardware for the rear diff, rear sway bar, all the parts for the rear sway bar to connect to the rear differential, and then the wheel cylinder. Um... I don't know what you want to call them exactly, but they help compress the brakes whenever you're pressing on the pedal. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and get starting and clean this hardware up. So to begin on this rear sway bar here, I'm going to actually just use paint stripper to knock all this off of here, this old finishing. And then we'll go from there and clean it all off. Wax and grease remove it, get it prepped, and then we'll prime everything all at once and then paint everything at once. Same goes for all this hardware. Anything that's got paint on it, I'm going to paint strip it. And then I'll either wire wheel or blast it. We'll see what happens. Well, as you can see already, it's actually starting to bubble off. Paint's lifting there. It's lifting here a little bit. It's tough to see with this camera sometimes. It's definitely lifting right there. So, it's coming on. While I'm doing this though, I'm gonna wash all this hardware over here, at least wash or clean it, whatever it needs, before I start stripping it. the stuff that I was working on in each script so what I'm gonna do right now is while that's doing that I'm gonna go over here and retap all the threads on my u-bolts I'm gonna get all that stuff retap so the threads are like brand new because I'm not buying new hardware because I'm gonna be putting a six inch lift kit in and that's on its way at some point heavily on this 
check out these u bolts this hardware is like brand new now <laughs> all this stuff got these uh all the plates for the rear sway bar and for the rear differential themselves we're about ready to paint this up and i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to prep now so with this hardware here i just used the cheap etching primer on it as soon as it flashed off i flipped it over and then like i said i'm gonna do all the stuff for the rear differential this is for the rear sway bar and these are for the brake cylinders inside the actual housing of the axle there behind the drums so hopefully this all turns out really nice for us check out that rear sway bar look at that it looks perfect it's like brand new from the factory this thing it turned out really nice for us all right so i know i didn't film any of the work that i did as in prep wise really it took a long time I've been working at it since 10.30, and it's probably now 6.30 almost. Look at all the stuff we got back here. Hanging all the stuff for the rear diff. Again, rear sway bar stuff. I'm going to go prep this, and I'll film this too. I'm going to prep it, and then we'll go ahead and get into primering it. And we'll go from there. primer has flashed off we're ready to shoot the actual paint here we're going to get that industrial coating on this and we're going to call it a day and that'll be it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's go ahead and get to it and finish this off Just sat here. I probably left it out for an hour and a half, almost two hours, to flash off and get geared up there. I'm gonna take it all down tonight and pull my car and take my, my caddy back there behind the garage door. Anyway, let's just take a look real quick and see what the final product looks like after it's in paint. It's pretty glossy. Those aren't runs. That's just the way the steel has gotten over the years. Um, you know, it's rough. You know what I mean? But like I said, I really put some effort into making it look good. I mean, the prep turned out great. All this hardware looks brand new, most of it. But you might see like a little bit of imperfections from the steel just being too rusty and just pitting it up over the years. It looks pretty awesome though. Definitely can say that at least. Like I said, really glossy. I more so wanted a matte finish, but that didn't happen. Because like I stated earlier, with the whole 
paint system I used, the more coats you add, the glossier it looks. And I couldn't find like a matte finish that was in the price range that I was looking to spend on it. So I can settle with this because at some point the finish will change again. Uh -huh.